What's up YouTube, just helping you out here, and for today's video, I will be doing uh, chapter 13, problem 60, out of the 8th edition Fundamentals of Physics textbook by Drill Walker and Halliday Resnick. Chapter 13 is all about gravitation, and I was actually requested to do this problem. I had somebody comment on my channel and ask for this problem, which I was really happy about because I want my channel to be strictly um, based off subscriber and fan requests. So if you need to help with something, just leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to try to help you. So in this particular problem, it talks about two satellites, A and B, which have identical masses and they both orbit the same planet. And we are also given the altitude of the planet, of the um, satellites. So one thing we need to do first is, since it gives us the altitude, we need to calculate the radius of orbit, which is the radius of the planet plus the altitude. So the radius of orbit is equal to radius of planet plus altitude. So in this case, the radius of A will be 6,370 plus 6,370, which equals 12,740 kilometers. And we're going to do the same thing for radius B, which is 19,110 plus 6,370. And that is equal to 25,480 kilometers. So in part A, uh, we are asked to find the potential energy ratio of, of B to A. So we know that potential energy, is, okay, so the equation is negative G big M little m over r. So the potential energy of B ratio, potential energy A, is going to be negative g m m over r of B uh, over negative g m m over r of A. And one thing we know is that this right here is actually the same for both because g is a constant m is the mass of the planet, which they both orbit the same planet, and the m's are the, we know the masses of the two satellites are the same. So we can actually cross these two out, and we are left with 1 over radius of b over 1 over radius of a, which this is, so this is equal to radius of a over radius of b, which is 12,740 over 25,480, which happens to be one half. And then for part B, we are asked to find another ratio, but this time we're doing the kinetic energy. So we know that the kinetic energy equation is equal to uh, G big M little m over 2R this time. And so we're going to do the same thing we did here. Kinetic energy of B over kinetic energy of A is G M M over 2R over G M M over 2R. And I forgot to label my R's here. We have radius of B, radius of A. And again, since these are constants, we're, we can actually cross those out. And we can actually also cross out these 2's. And we get the same thing we got up here. So this is actually, again, equal to radius of A over radius of B, which is 1 half. All right, part C. So part C asks us to, which, asks which satellite has the, um, the greater energy. So equation we know that energy is equal to negative g m 
m over 2r. Now we can actually solve this problem without plugging, plugging in any numbers because we know here that without this negative, okay, since the radius is in the denominator, the smaller radius will yield a larger energy. But since the term is negative, that would actually yield the smaller energy. So in this case, the one with the larger radius, which is B, has greatest energy. All right, part D. Part D asks us what this difference will be. So we know that delta the change in energy is equal to energy of B minus the energy of A. And this is going to be equal to negative G, uh, big M, little m, over 2RB minus, same thing, just over 2RA. And when you plug in all the values given, so you know G is 6.67 times 10 to negative 11. We know the mass of the planet is given in the problem. Wait, no, it is not. I'm sorry. Um, you could actually, you'll actually have to there should be a chart in your book, or either you'll have to Google the mass of Earth, but typically uh, physics classes will teach you to memorize that constant. And then M, which is your the mass of your satellite, which that is given in the problem. And then you know your radiuses. So you can solve for that, and when you do so, you should get a delta E of 1.1 times 10 to the eighth joules. So that's it for this problem. If you found this helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have an idea for a future video or a question about something I did. Also check out my Instagram, which will be in the description below. I will be posting whenever I have a video uploaded, so you can go check that out. And lastly, please help me out and subscribe. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.